Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Friday, October 5th. Philadelphia police are using surveillance video to track down the gunman who shot a teenager to death and critically wounded another. Investigators say the boys, both 15 years old, were at a gas station on the 2500 block of Pashunk Avenue last night. Police say the gunman got out of a car and opened fire with a semi-automatic weapon. They believe one of those victims was targeted. The inside of a vacant house has collapsed in North Philadelphia. Firefighters rushed to the 1700 block of North Taney Street around 1.30 this morning. Fortunately, there are no reports of any injuries. The cause of that collapse is now under investigation. And honors for police officers that go above and beyond the call of duty. The Fraternal Order of Police Lodge No. 5 held its awards dinner and ceremony in Northeast Philadelphia. The honored officers were given special commendations. Dozens were on hand to thank them for their service. Now to the eyewitness weather forecast with meteorologist Katie Failinger. Hi, Katie. Hey there, Jan. Yeah, you know, the weekend really looks pretty good all in all. We are going to more than anything have a weather headline that involves the temperature, though. In the next few days, there aren't any major storms coming our way, which is a good thing. We had enough rain over the month of September, so we deserve a break here. But the pattern that's settling in atmospherically is significant. High pressure with a nice ridge over the eastern half of the United States means we generally have a warmer pattern up and down the eastern seaboard. While well, there's a huge trough out west keeping things very cold and yes there has been some snow even in the northern high plains here and even parts of great lakes region in the last uh, day and a half here now back here locally we've got our friday football frenzy game going on this evening and that's going to be unionville taking on kennett square just some clouds overhead it looks like a really nice evening for football temperatures in the upper 60s at kickoff but this is a tame forecast all in all again you notice the numbers so with the temperatures here more than anything there will potentially be a few showers as early as Wednesday, but uh, even today there may be a stray shower left over from last night's cold from passage in the southern counties. Otherwise, it is a smooth sail with nothing more than a few clouds overhead. We'll take that. Jim? Indeed we will. Thank you, Katie. Remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for this morning's digital news brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.